Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show another Korean event where you can use enchantment stones as a currency and buy some cool stuff. The event I'm talking about took place last summer. So there are two NPCs. The first vendor offers various items in exchange for tradable legendary PV enchantment stones. You can buy a box containing entry coins for such instances as Benirx's Manor Normal Mode, Prometoon's Workshop Hard Mode or Stella Laboratory Normal Mode. You're allowed to pick one entry coin from the box. The green pouch holds 300 slot stones, so in case you have any problems with getting this particular item in-game, you can spend PV stones and purchase up to 10 pouches per week. As you probably figured out, the numbers in the upper left corner show the weekly sales limit. The next three items are enhanced mysterious transformation pots, which last for 20 minutes. The effect remains even if the character dies. There is Kaisenel, Markutan, and this great chest contains selectable legendary pots. Gamblers can try purchasing RNG box, which contains 2, 5, 7 or 50 ultimate PV enchantment stones. I don't have the info regarding the exact odds, but we'll understand getting the jackpot is not that easy. And the last item in this section is PV Ascension Gem. It increases your additional PV attack by 500, PV defense by 1000 and health by 10,000 for 60 minutes. The effect remains after character's death. Now let's move to the second NPC. Here you will need tradable legendary PvP enchantment stones. You can exchange them for a bundle of 10 ultimate Ethium or Shimmering Abyss treasure, uh, which can be exchanged for 5 million Abyss points. Or maybe you want to buy a Guardian General Seal, which allows to X-Form once, even if your character is not a 5-star officer. In case you're struggling with enchanting and you need ultimate PvP enchantment stones, you can try gambling. But as I said earlier, don't expect to win 50 stones within a few attempts. Hardcore PvP players might want to buy some Ascension Gem. I personally believe this is a game-breaking item which makes sieges as well as any kind of PvP activity unplayable. And finally, let's talk about the most expensive boxes. There are 7 of them. One is for 30 stones and the other 6 cost 50. You might wonder what's inside. The fancy looking chests contain red catalog equipment with appearance skills. 6 boxes, 6 gear parts. You can basically choose the piece of equipment you are missing, however it's not possible to select the skill. But that's not all. If you don't like the skill, you can reroll the box by paying 2 additional legendary PvP enchantment stones. You can reroll one box up to 10 times. The chest that costs 30 stones randomly contains one of 6 possible gear parts. Pay attention, there is no weekly sales limit on buying chests for 50 enchantment stones, but the random box can be purchased only once per week. There are also repeatable quests. With their help you have an opportunity to exchange Genesis Crystals together with legendary PvE enchantment stones for Stellium, and Genesis Crystals with PvP and stones for Fragments of Fighting Spirit. On top of that, you can exchange legendary PvP enchantment stones with fragments of Fighting Spirit for plus 10 legendary Silent Black Feather set. That's it for today. If you still have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section, support the channel promotion, subscribe, like and share this video with your friends. Also, you can support the channel via donations. Check the link in the description. Thanks for watching and see you soon.